The word sin defined means a crime, a damnation, an error, evil, guilt, iniquity. The word sin defined also means a misdeed, an offense, unrighteousness, wickedness, a wrong, wrongdoing. So a eh, the word sins the word sin means to fall, to fail, from grace to go astray, a lapse, to offend, to transgress, to trespass. We are looking at the reason for the season, and we are saying today is Good Friday, and we're examining this concept of Good Friday. And um, we've said and asked, How can good come from the death of someone? One beaten, scratched, suffered, mocked that, laughed at. How can good come from it? And we said here that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, John 3 16, for you and for me. He is our burden bearer. He bore our sin. And somebody will say, Oh, I didn't commit sin. I didn't commit sin. And we have tried. And we have tried now to define the word sin. And somebody said, I didn't commit any crime. I'm not under any damnation. I didn't work in error. I didn't work in evil. I didn't work in guilt. There's no iniquity with me. No misdeed. No offense. No error. I didn't go astray. No offense. We may make a lot of excuses. But if we look at God's plan for mankind, and we look at what is happening in the world, we see there that there is a lot of evil in the world. The psalmist describes adequately the state of man in Psalm 51. Psalm 51, if you say, oh, I did, I'm not a sinner, very good, no argument. But again, if you watch children growing up, you see that sin is embedded in the heart of man. Because you see the child, nobody has sought the child evil. Nobody has sought the child bad behavior. But you see the child will begin to manifest such bad behaviors. For example, you see the child a baby, nobody has sought him anything. But why breastfeeding? Sometimes if the child wants to be naughty, we beat the mother's breast, look, look up and start to smile and laugh mischievously. Now, who taught that child to do that? And who taught that child that that thing which you have done is wrong? That thing which you have done is bad? Who taught the child? Who taught that child? You see it here, Psalm 51, it says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender masses, blot out my transgressions. David was a man after God's heart because he always acknowledged that he had erred before God. So he said, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. I acknowledge my transgressions and in sin, my sin is ever before me. Against the deep only have I sinned and done, and done that which is evil, that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou, just, when thou judgest. <laughs> I like King James so much, but it's a mouthful. <laughs> Verse 5 is where I'm going to say, Behold, I was shaping in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. So the state of the child betrays this fact that we are conceiving sin. Because the child begins to exhibit negative tendencies. 
that he or she was born with from the mother's womb without anybody teaching him or her. And this is where parental discipline, control, training come in. Begin to say, no, don't do this, don't do it like this, do it like this, do it like this, this is wrong, this is right. So we are saying here that the sinful nature, you accept it, you don't accept it, we are born in it, we are born with it, we are born in it. Psalm 51 5 Behold, I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Having said that, we want to say here that we need not continue in sin, we need not continue in damnation, we need not continue this way. Why? Because on the cross of Calvary, today, as we commemorate the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. The good news is that we have been redeemed, we have been saved, we have been salvaged, we have been reconciled to our Maker. And so, don't forget, Jesus loves you. He loves you so very much that on this day, over 2,000 years ago, He went to the cross for you and for me to reconcile you and me to our maker don't despise the gift don't despise that which was done for you on the cross accept welcome all you need to do to accept is just to acknowledge like the psalmist did he say acknowledge acknowledge that you have need of a savior acknowledge that yes you err and you sin acknowledge that you are not a perfect human being but you need that who is perfect to help you, to save you true. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that, that's all, your sins are forgiven. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the body of Christ. Welcome to the body of those that are saved, cleansed, renewed, sanctified. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that prayer, that's all, your sins are forgiven. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We don't argue with God. But we accept that which He have said and come to Him as we are for cleansing, for forgiveness. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Band of Love Ministries International. Do visit our YouTube channel, then you see a lot of messages loaded, loaded for you. Messages that reconcile you to God. Messages that inspire, that edify, that build, that give wisdom, courage, strength. All those blockers are good, though, especially those palaces. <laughs> but that one, I gossip. This one is a message that will transform you, add value to your life. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the church. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. God bless you. A very, very pleasant, happy day to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Happy, happy, good Friday to you. Happy celebration. Thank you so very much. God bless you.